DLB Network, a place for gamers. Hey, what's going on, people? Some of y'all know me as Sandman. The rest of y'all know me as PS3 Support. What's good? I'm coming at you with a how-to. This one is how to use, how to install, how to download um, Homebrew for the PlayStation 3. Some of y'all might ask what Homebrew is. Um, so basically what it is is a, a little file or a set of files that um, some Japanese overseas they created. What you do is you create, you get that file, you extract it to a flash drive. So you're going to need a flash drive. Uh, so you extract that to the root of your flash drive. And what that does is enable to you, enables you to run Nintendo emulators off that flash drive. So basically what you do is you extract the file to the flash drive. Um, once it's on the flash drive, go find a Nintendo emulation. Like, for example, uh, a Nintendo game emulation. For example, we got uh, Super Mario Bros. or some shit like that. What you do is you drop that file onto the flash drive as well. Plug it up in your PlayStation 3, and it will show up under the video section. What you do is you go into your flash drive under the video section, um, go into the game, it'll sign you out of the PSN, so you can't be online at the same time, but uh, you will be able to play that emulation inside the video section, or off your flash drive. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm going to be showing you all you know, how to how to download it. Y'all can download it off my website as ps3support.com or my bad, ps3support.net um, so go download it. You can, I'll show you guys uh, in a few seconds but you can go download it there. I'm going to show you how to uh, install it, uh, how to do all the good stuff uh, so you can be set to go. Alright, so this is the same one as posted on N4G. Um, this is where I'm getting it off of. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? Alright, now once you're at your PC, you're going to want to navigate to ps3support.net. That is my personal website, so you can go there anytime you'd like. All my support videos are on here. You want to scroll a little bit down so you see support on the left-hand side. Um, underneath that, the subcategory, you got PS3 general support. You click on that. Uh, scroll down a little bit and you'll see how to install and use Homebrew. So here you got the steps, you know, one to nine steps on how to do it. And directly underneath that, you got download the AVCHD folder. Now you can download it straight from the site, so I made it nice and simple for y'all. So all you do is just click on it, and it'll prompt you to save it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click Save File. And for me, it'll save it to my desktop. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to open that up. It's a zip folder, so you just want to extract it. Um, so here's the folder. As you can see, there's a README and an AVCHD folder. So at this point, you're then going to want to either plug in or open up your flash drive. Remember, your flash drive has to be empty because you have to you have to copy these onto the root directory. Now, what do I mean by root directory? The root directory is um, the first point you could save at, like the top folder. Think of your um, your flash drive as a folder with no subfolders. So you want to save it directly onto the flash drive. So you're going to want to copy these folders, well, the README and the folder, and drag it onto your flash drive. So once it's on there, you've got the emulators down pat. So what you want to do is you want to know, now go find an emulation. So you could go to Google. Uh, once you're in Google, type in... Uh, NES ROMs and then you can click on the first one this one's pretty good I've downloaded from here before um, the old computer.com so go down I'm gonna look for uh, you know Mario Super Mario so it's under the S let me just scroll down find it There you go, Super Mario Brothers. I'm going to download the first one. And, you know, it asks me to save it, so I'm going to click OK. And it saves to my desktop once again, like before. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. If I could find it, go back here. There's my desktop. Now, Super Mario Bros. 1.zip. 
So I'm going to extract that as well. So op just open it up. If you're running Windows, you can just open up the file. And uh, you'll see it says Mario.nes. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that Mario.nes and drag it into the AVCHD folder. So into this folder and just drop it inside that folder. Once you have it like this so that you got your README file, your AVCHD file, and inside there you got your, you know, your emulations, your games that you want to play, as well as, you know, the folders that it comes with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, plug it into my PS3, plug that shit in, where do we go? Somewhere here, there it goes. Now that it's plugged in, what I'm going to do is on my XMB, go over to the video section, and if you can see, once you're in the video section, um, the USB device shows up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click X on that. And then you see the AVCHD. Click X once more, and it'll, it'll blacken your screen and bring you into the video or the emulator, whichever one you want to call it. So let it load up. It takes a couple seconds. And you're brought to this. Now, as you can see, you've got my Mario.nes right up there. Um, don't matter how many, uh, how many you've got, how many games you've got on here, they'll all show up. So what you want to do is you want to click on Mario.nes. In my case, that's the only game I have, so I'm going to click on it, and it'll load it up. Once here, click Triangle, and then I believe two is Start, one is Select. So I'm going to click two for Start. Click Triangle to make that go away. And now you could, you know, use them like a regular controller. See, my controls aren't uh, a regular. You could use the D-pad, or you could use the uh, analog. Don't matter. I'm used to the D-pad because, you know, back in the day, that's how you played this game. You, it feels weird if you're on the D-pad. It's, it's different. Oh, snap. So you're going to want to uh, want to try this out. It's pretty cool. Bring back some old memories. Pa, got you, motherfucker. Oh, get the! I got these. I got these fireballs. Man, this this brings back some good old memories. You guys gotta go try this out. All right, people. So once again, it's your boy Sandman. I just showed y'all how to uh, download, extract, and use the new Nintendo emulator for the PS3. Um, hope y'all like it. And uh, stay tuned for more. All right, people? Peace.